Today's lesson is going to be on writing and evaluating expressions. Let's start with this problem right here. John is buying books. Each book is five dollars. He buys three books and pays with a twenty dollar bill. How much change should he get back? In this case, we're going to go ahead and write an expression, and we're going to write an expression for that change that he should get back. How much did he start with? Right, he started with twenty dollars, and here's that twenty dollar bill that he started with. At that point, what does he do? He buys three books. He buys three books, and then so if he buys three books, I'm going to write it right over here. He buys three books. How much did he pay for each book? He paid five dollars for each book. If he paid five dollars for each book, what should we do with the three and the five dollars to find out how much he paid for all three of those books? Right, we should multiply them together. So if we put that with our expression right here, if this here is the amount that he spent on the books, and this is what he started with, what should we do with both of those there? Right, we should subtract them. I'm going to put those in parentheses so that we remember to do that first. And then so this here is our expression. Twenty dollars is what he started with. Three times five dollars is how much he spent for those three books, and this expression represents the change that he should get back. So right now I have written and I have I've written a expression. And then so we said we were going to write and evaluate expressions. We've written an expression. We can evaluate it as well to to answer this question. I'm going to go ahead and write out. He should get blank back, and that's the number of dollars that he should get back when we're solving this here. And so, if we evaluate this, three times five dollars is fifteen dollars. That's how much he spent on those three books.、And、remember, we were subtracting that from twenty dollars. Twenty dollars minus fifteen dollars is five dollars. So if we read this, he should get five dollars back. Is our answer reasonable? Yeah, I think it is. If he started with twenty dollars, can't get more than twenty dollars back. That's for sure. He should get five dollars back. He had spent fifteen dollars of his twenty dollars. That's why I put a check mark there. Oftentimes, you're going to come across these instructions here. Where it says simplify the expression, and then so if we were to simplify these expressions and we were to look at eleven minus two times five, we know by the order of operations that two times five is ten, and that's what we have to do first. And then we have eleven minus ten, which is one. We know that we clear our parentheses first with this next expression. Six minus three is three, and then so fourteen plus three is seventeen. So when we are simplifying or evaluating an expression, all we're doing is that we're finding its value. We're finding its value to be considerate to our reader. It's a lot easier if we put our things there in parentheses. Now our next step from here, I'm going to go ahead and show you how we translate this into words, what this means in words, and vice versa. Here's some words describing an expression: seven fewer than six times nine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the six times nine here. So six times nine, all we do is we write six times nine. If we look at this again, it says seven fewer than six times nine. Seven fewer. Okay, well that's fewer. That means that's a subtraction problem, and then so I'm going to go ahead and subtract seven from that there. I'm going to go ahead and put these in parentheses, just so it makes it a little more clear. And then so 
we have 7 fewer, minus 7, than 6 times 9. That's 7 fewer than 6 times 9. Written another problem for you. It says the sum of 7 and the product of 2 and 3. Don't get confused by those vocabulary words. Sum means the answer to an addition problem, and product means the answer to a multiplication problem. So again, what we're going to start with is we'll start with the product of 2 and 3. 2 times 3, I'll put that in parentheses, and then it says the sum of this and that product of 2 and 3. So the sum of it. So we'll put a plus sign and we'll write plus 7. And then so when it says to write an expression, it's not asking you to solve it. It's asking you to write out that expression that describes those words. Write an expression with parentheses for the situation. All right, turn to try. Take a moment to read the instructions to yourself. We've got three different situations for you to write. You're writing an expression with parentheses for each of those situations. Do remember to follow the order of operations. It's not asking you to evaluate them. Pause the video and you try. That first one there is 3 fewer than 40 divided by 4. I could see that some people might have written something like this, 3 minus 40 divided by 4. That actually would have been 40 divided by 4 fewer than 3. Where this is 3 fewer than 40 divided by 4. Next problem is 7 times the sum of 18 and 2. 7 times the sum of 18 and 2, so 7 times the sum of 18 and 2, and 18 and 2. Sum, answer to a, an addition problem. Remember the difference is the answer to a subtraction problem, so you better have that subtraction operation inside your final expression. If you don't, you might want to pause the video, do a little erasing and see if you can figure it out says 5 more than the difference of 23 and 6. So I'll start with that difference of 23 and 6. So I'll put it in order. 23 minus 6. That's the difference. And then it says 5 more than that. So I'm going to go ahead and add 5. It's important. We just put our parentheses in there. I know it says to follow the order of operations, but it's just more considerate. So it goes, and that way we're very clear and no one makes a mistake. A couple more. And in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at this expression and see if we can describe it in words. If we look at this here, this is 60 divided by 3. 60 divided by 3. 60 divided by 3. 60 divided by 3, and I can say times 2, or I could use the word double. I can make it more clear though, the double of, oh, I actually I don't think that that makes it that much clearer, 60 divided by 3 doubled. I have to just put a little <laughs> circle like that there. How would I describe this? Did you say 8 more? 8 more than the, what's the answer to a division problem? It's called the quotient. Then the quotient of 40 and 5. Can you describe this in words? If you want to pause the video to write it out, you may. 
that there is a possible solution, just be very careful. Make sure you're describing the situation that is there. So I could describe this, for instance, as half of the sum of all three of these numbers. I'll write it out for you. where we'd have half of the sum of 90, 17, and 8. 